Boy Duster. Boy. Well done. They're yeah, hard to find, aren't they? How tiny they are. Unbelievable. Hello everyone, Rob from Field Sports with Speed. On this week's video, you join me on a day's snipe shooting. These birds are incredibly small, they change their direction of flight in the blink of an eye and with the heavy wind that we had on this day, they were pretty challenging. Here's how we got on. Look at that, Rich. Stone dead. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good boy, Dust. Find him out. Find him out. Last. Good boy, bring it on. <laughs> Good boy, bring it on. Bring it on. Good boy, Duster. Good boy, Duster. Good boy, bring it on. Good boy, bring it on. God, they're so hard to find. Good lad. That's a bit strange, isn't it, buddy? Good boy. Get back. Get back. Well, that is something very different. Driven snipe. And that was like, a, probably like one of the best drives you'll ever do. There's so many of them. Couldn't believe it. Um, and yeah, I had, I've had five, which is pretty amazing, really. Um, that's the most I've ever shot in one go. Now the dog's just trying to find them, but they're so hard to see because the water, they sort of blend in so well, and they're obviously so tiny. 
But yeah, I'm going to try and find this last one. I've got four. Let's find this last one. <laughs> You can tell there's absolutely no scent because this dog is mustard and he just ran straight over this one. <whistles> Dust! Here we go, last one. Good boy, yeah, good boy. Well done. They're hard to find, aren't they? How tiny they are. Unbelievable. That's all of them picked. That is fantastic. Let's get on. Boy, get off. Over! How are you buddy? Good lad, forward! Here we go! I know, mate, I know. I'm going, isn't it, like? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Dog. That was brutal. Well, as you'll have seen there, we was walking that one. And these withy beds are pretty brutal. <laughs> Tried having to go at a pigeon, but it jinxed just as I shot, so I missed that. But the other lads had some shots, so let's go pick up what they've shot, see how they got on. Oi, hey, look. And this is what you get when you try and help someone who's got stuck in their truck. Absolutely lathered now. Okay guys, so on this video, I used the little Fabarm XLR Columba Palumba semi-automatic. This is a left-hand ported one that Anglo-Italian arms were uh, very kind enough to send me. This is the 30 inch barreled model. All the times I have used it, it has never had a malfunction. It cycles anything. On this day, I did use some of the Ely VIP, the VIP, they were steel anyway. They were 724 gram, which is obviously quite a light load, and they cycled lovely, and they actually did a really good job. The reason why I used a 7 shot um, at the snipe is because they're a very, very small bird, and they don't need a big pellet to penetrate them to kill them. So, in my theory, if I've got a lot more smaller pellets, I'm going to fill the pattern up because they're literally the size of your hand and you don't want the pellets to go around them because you might be exactly on the bird and miss it because there's obviously holes in your pattern. So I went with smaller shot and a lot of it and trying to hit them, trying being the biggest worthier. But I did manage to get a few and as you can see on the video and this was a good little tool for the job. I really enjoyed shooting it. It was really nice that I could clip the little strap on it so I could carry it over my shoulder because um, the drives are quite quick. With snipe shooting, you do a lot of drives, so you want to be able to, you know, not have to carry your sleeve and all your stuff. It's just nice to put the gun over your shoulder, off you go. The choke I used for this day was my normal half choke, my preferred half choke. It did the job well. I'm thinking about having a little play with these chokes. I don't think this half is quite as tight as. I think it is, 
So I'm going to give it a test soon and actually see how it patterns. Maybe I might need to go up a constriction, maybe to like a three quarter, um, because obviously all different chokes choke differently, the different makes. An interesting point to make with this gun is with the chokes, fab arms say that you can use any choke for steel. So they actually give you in the box a extended choke, which is a full choke, and they say you can put steel through it. So I'm gonna have to give that a go at some time and actually test that. But yeah, I've really enjoyed using this little gun the last few times. I'm gonna hopefully have it out in the hide a few times this season. It's a really nice gun. It just I like the feel to it, I like the weight to it. It's a little bit heavier than most other autos. It feels really nice in the hand. I love the rubberized finish to the stock, it feels really good. It's easy to clean, easy to maintain, and it's reliable. That's the main thing I want out of an auto. I don't want it jamming, it's just a pain in the ass, isn't it? Dust, get up. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Something a little bit different. I know I've certainly never seen any. Uh, snipe shooting videos before so hopefully you enjoyed this one and I will see you on the next week's video